Hi, this is Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So I'm here with Izzy. He's a makeup artist and more. And he's going to tell you all about his business, his address, his phone number, where you can come and get his service. This is the second time I'm here at his business, and I'm telling you, he does a fabulous job. He did my granddaughter for her prom, and she's back today for her graduation. And I'm telling you, I was sitting here watching him, and I didn't even know who she was when he finished. So, Izzy, tell them all about you and your business and what you can do for them. Hi, everyone. I'm Izzy. I represent the Aesthetic Boston. Um, that's my personal business. Um, I do eyelash extensions. I do facials. Um, and what else do I do? I do, like, everything. <laughs> um, you can follow me on Instagram at the Aesthetic Boston. Um, and my email is Izzy at the Aesthetic at gmail.com. Um, I can be reached out there or you can contact me via phone 978-319-7930 um, and again 978-319-7930 for any bookings, appointments, or any questions you may have on eyelash extensions, um, facials, or anything else that I do. And you're located in Lowell? I'm located in Lowell, Massachusetts, yes. Okay guys, so you have the phone number and you know how to reach him. So please uh, come and visit his, him in his shop and let him make you magnificent. Okay? Thank so you, here's a before picture of Nia right here. And we're going to uh, watch and I'm going to tape as he go through the process. And we're going to see the end results. Okay? Izzy, take it away. Okay, thank you. So we already prepped the skin. I'm going to throw some primer on. This is Tasha Primer just to keep her nice and mattified. I like to work it in with my fingers because the warmth really melts the product and makes it adhere better. I'm going to pop it on anywhere she is the most oily so that it concentrates in those areas. Just to keep her nice and matte and kind of smooth it all over the rest of the face. So how long have you been a makeup artist? So I've been doing makeup professionally for, I wouldn't say almost seven years now. I've been an esthetician for 10 years now. So I've been, I started off with practicing skin. Um, my love for makeup is what got me into skin. But from skin I kind of jumped around to doing the makeup and the lashes and whatever whatnot. Great. I need press. I'm going to be jumping around to have all my makeup back here. Yes. And we will be popping on some iPads. Maybe look up in this. Thank you. Is this the first time your grandma records you? No, she recorded me. Uh uh, here's the one. Oh, yeah, so yeah. And I recorded her when she was, I was teaching her how to drive. Oh, yeah. How was that? that? Oh, that was hilarious. You should hear that one. <laughs> I need to see that one. Who was more stressed out, you or Grandma? Me. Well, my Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was. No, you were. I was fine. She was gravy. So you'll be seeing me spray everything down, alcohol, just to cleanse any makeup I'm going to use prior to putting on any client. Sanitation is key when doing makeup. I'm going to go in and just outline the brows with a darker shade. This is spot. It's not by MAC Cosmetics.
What time did you end up moving up to the car? At like six, I think seven. I was right on time. Oh, you yeah. Oh, yeah. So I know everybody was calling <laughs> you that night. And you're like, I'm going, I'm going, I promise I'm there. But I was surprised I made it on time. I thought it was going to be so late. I think I was just, I just had a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Mm, I don't blame you, especially plan night where you're like, yeah. you have a thousand things going on. And you're like, I have to be here, but I have to get this, I don't want to forget this. I'm going to go with Spike, just to add a little dimension to the brow. So this is the lighter brow pencil by MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to fill in the brows, drawing hair-like strokes. And that way it gives her more of a nice and natural brow. We're going to disperse that product out for us. I'll be giving away my secrets to it. <laughs> but you may be giving away some secrets, but they are not you. Mm, you have that magic touch. That's what I hear, so hopefully it's true. <laughs> Concealer just to curve out the brow. I'm mixing two colors from this MAC Dark Palette. Just to give it a little bit of a highlight as well. And that's just gonna give us this nice, clean, crisp brow. with a nice fluffy brush we're going to blend away that concealer Draw a little bit of hair mix strokes at the beginning of the brow.
where it came from? Right here. Where the look's gonna be a little more soft and subtle, I'm gonna go in with the Groundwork Paint Pot. It's something that's almost gonna mimic her natural color. Just give her a little bit of brightness on the eye, and that's what we're gonna use as a base for the eyeshadow that we're about to pop on. And I'm grabbing a Morphe M173 brush, just to buff that on the eye. Would you say that makeup is just as important as a person getting their hair done? And why? I would say yes. A lot of people treat it like a casualty, but you don't necessarily have to go full glam every time you do your makeup. But it also makes a difference in the appearance. A lot of people love makeup for playing with color and this and that, but a lot of people love makeup for the confidence that it gives them. Okay. So I feel like it's more important internally, um, the way it makes you feel. Okay. And Especially where she told me she has more oily eyelids. I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's nice and mattifying. And I'm going to use that to set the concealer okay. underneath her brow and to set the paint pot that we just popped on the lid. I myself had never thought about getting a makeup, uh, my face made up until I seen her the last time you really? did it. Yes. I am convinced now that uh, I also need to treat myself. Exactly. It's something you can pamper yourself with. So. Yeah. A lot of um, girls that I know, they love waking up that extra half hour early just to do their makeup. Okay. It's more of a personal experience. Everybody's different. Everybody loves just creating something new every day. Oh, okay. I'll be 66 this month. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. So on my channel, I put my appeal out letting the YouTube family know that I'm single and looking. Okay, and <laughs> I did. And I'm seeking their advice. So uh, when I get my first date, uh, maybe I'll come over and get my face made up so I can really impress. Definitely. And that could be another session. We can record that one too. Okay. So now that that's all set. We're going to go in with the eyeshadow. Yeah, why not? I like it. He does a good job. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you, I brought my foundation. Yeah. Yep. I assumed that was like I remember. Yeah. That is... So we're going to go with that nice chocolatey color and more of a pop of neutral in the center of the other. Um, no glitter, a little bit, or do you like it just like the photo? Just like the photo. Perfect. I just don't want too much attention on my eyes. Okay, so today's not. Mm -hmm. Today's yeah. one of those, like, I want to look pretty, but I don't want to be yeah. in everybody's face type thing. I got on the newspaper. I think it was because my eye makeup. Yeah, they took a picture of my, you can see my eyeshadow really good. 
I, you should have told me. I want to see that. Oh, I'm sorry. Next time, it, if, no, let me see it if you have it. I do have it. Oh, that's exciting! Was that the Lowell Sun? Yeah, it was on the Lowell Sun. Okay, so if you have And you have a gorgeous dress, too. Thank you. Oh my, they really got like a close-up of you. Yeah. What were you doing here? I was cutting my food. Oh, shut sure. <laughs> up. <laughs> they at least didn't get you like mid-eat. I know. Yeah. I think they were looking that's at my awesome. eyes. We had to. Girl, you're probably like the only one rocking something like that. Can, can we get a shot of that from when he did your makeup the first oh, time nice. and the little son uh, put you in the newspaper to show off your beautiful makeup? So. This is Nia, the last time when she came and had her makeup done. You see? Great. The low son took this picture. Thank no, you. They didn't take that one. They didn't take that one. This is. Just, I was showing you the makeup. Oh, close up. Uh, people, they didn't take that one. They took this picture. I'm gonna have the before. I'm actually gonna do the before and the after, like I did last time. There we go. How about that, huh? Cool. I'm singing. I love doing a before video. Okay, you're taking a before picture. Warming up the eye with a buttercup, just to give it a nice pop of orange. Those pads feel like when you're getting your lashes yeah. done. That's exactly what it reminded me when I saw your lashes. I was like, I hate it that it has to be so up and close in your face. But I feel like it's depending on the way you like take the eye down and everything. Yeah. Like it's different because you know they're pulling. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate I hate the process. It's so long. How long does she take to the US? Like my refill, it was like I had them on for like three weeks, so they were like I needed a lot. <laughs> so it took like an hour. That's not bad. A little longer than an hour, to be honest. Oh, I'm not too I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So your eyelashes you had put on for the refill it took an hour. How long did it take initially in the when they first put it on? Um it was like two two hours. Two hours and a half. Okay. Three hours it felt like. A, a, really, a really long time. Is it? Because you have to go with hair by hair every yeah. single time. So initially, generally it takes like two and a half hours plus, I would say. If you're like really quick, like some people have it down to like an hour. But you know really? what? Yeah. <laughs> but like, you've been doing this for like 10 years. <laughs> this isn't something that I just started the other day. Yeah. Because for me, just to do like a full set of classics, Takes me about two and a half, three hours. That's a good amount of time. That's how long it took the first time. Though. Especially, like, you probably have a ton of lashes, really, Carla. Yeah, I do. She said my lashes were hard to do. Mm hmm. <laughs> so it's going through, separating them nicely. Now when you do eyelashes, uh, how long do they last? So um, it all depends on the longevity of the glue generally. Uh, like I would say a standard, and don't quote me on this because I just started lashing about a month ago. Um, four to six weeks would be like a general standard of like any lashes, any glue, everything should hold up roughly around four to six weeks. If you're with, taking care of them. <laughs> exactly, with the touch up every two to three weeks is what they recommend. So touch up is like every other hair. Generally, um, less 
Uh, I'm sorry. So you have to be have at least forty percent of your own natural lashes for it to be considered a touch up. Okay. And again, generally every two to three weeks. Uh, my clients uh, recently they've been lasting about three four weeks to come in for like a touch up. So that's really good retention then. Okay. I'm gonna go in with. I'm using the Juvia's Place palette. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this darker brown just to continue giving her that little bit of smoke. She wanted a nice natural brown. I'm gonna have you open your eyes for me. Perfect. Something very important, especially doing makeup, is to have your client close and open their eyes because you want to see how the makeup is falling and make sure that you can actually see it. Because what you're doing here, this is what the world's gonna see. So you want to make sure that what you're doing is perfect. Okay. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm just buffing that eyeshadow with my 286 brush. It's a nice dual fiber brush. So it'll give me a nice soft bit of color, especially where it's just a nice romantic soft smoky eye. So again, I'm loading up the brush, tapping off the excess, and I'm going in just on the crease, just to blend out a little bit of that. Nice warm orange crease color we pop up. On the outer V, I'm taking it down toward the center of the lid. I'm just concentrating in this section right here. So how did you find that you were in the low side? Um, my aunt sent it to me. Oh. And I was like, oh my god. Like you and all of those just saw you at the low sun. I would have been like rude, thanks for like Taking my picture as I'm eating. I mean, I didn't know. Like, the lady came up to me. She was like, what's your name? And I'm glad I corrected her. Because she put Mia. And then she spelled my last name wrong. Oh, and she was going to ask you. She's like, I'm going to throw you a picture. You didn't know? She didn't tell me. She was just, like, asking for my name. And what school I went to. And what town I lived in. Oh, okay. And you were like, okay, yeah, here. Here's my info. Mm -hmm. I thought she took a picture for the yearbook or something. Oh. But that's weird, like... Yeah? Hopefully I get one taken today. Sure, yeah, let's make it happen, let's make it happen. My brother got one taken from the yearbook last... Um, mm -hmm. at his girlfriend's graduation. Dark course again with the 286 brush just because I want to keep it soft and romantic. On the outer V, I'm going to use it to add depth to the eye. That's a nice cool brown. And you just have to be really careful when you're mixing warm and cool colors because you don't want it to turn out muddy. I'm going to switch it up so that I am 507 brush. I'm again holding it about halfway. And I switch it up just because I want to get a little more detail in the shadow, especially taking it inwards. I want the line to kind of fade out and diffuse a little bit. But still add a nice little sharpness to the makeup. And I'm purposely leaving the center untouched.
I'm gonna go in with Fireside from the Tarte palette. Same brush, and I'm gonna do smaller strokes to smoke out the outer edges. So they're one of those mysterious looks. With the 217 brush again, I'm going to go in with that initial orange that I put on. Tap off the excess and just really lightly buff it into that brown color so we can have a nice, even transition in black. And nice and lightly, you want to be careful with not over blending the eyeshadows. But it's adding that nice and warmth we had at the beginning. I'm going to go in with a 239 SES brush and the color Clarity. It's a nice soft nude. I'm going to pop it in just the side of there. And then the most important part, you want to make sure you're using a nice clean brush with no product on it. We're just going to buff that away. So leave the highlight without looking too harsh underneath the brush. And if you have a tap off the excess product here. Yeah. It blends in a little better with the surrounding makeup. Come on, just open to me. Okay. And then we're going to buff that away underneath the brow. here in the outer corner of the lid. Okay. Well, let's, see. let's check out the eyes. A little sneak peek.
and lock it in here. Okay. I'm going to go in on the water line with Max Smolder. I'm going to try off a little bit, especially after we sprayed alcohol to sanitize it. And then we look up for the other. takes your mind off of a sharp pointy object in your eye. Gorgeous. I'm just going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jet Liner. I love it because it's waterproof and it's a nice jet black. Okay. Did you want to do liner? So now you have the lashes. Uh, I don't really care. Yeah, you can do it. YouTube family, you can tell my granddaughter is a girly girl. She likes all the glamour, the makeup, the hair, the um, everything you could think of. Nails, the toes. Mm. She's really a girly girl. <laughs> oh, she shot off the nails. <laughs> That really made the makeup pop. These are how I just her eyes are like. Yeah. Wow. And it's so nice, soft, and natural, but now she has like eyes. Yes. 
And the same thing with this one. I'm gonna have it open and lock. So if I just like it, just rest. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and stand in the corner. Oh. What time's the graduation last time? It's at six, but I'm have to be there by four thirty. So you have to practice the walk and all that mess. Yeah. Oh my god, rehearsals yesterday, it was so long. Ah, uh, that was for me too when I graduated, but yeah, we don't have to go through it. How was your graduation, Grandma? <laughs> uh, hey, mine was 10 years ago, so... Oh, you talking a long time ago. It was just okay, and the reason why I'm going to say it was okay, because I come from a family of six kids, mm -hmm. and... uh. Open for me. My father really didn't believe in big celebrations of holidays or anything because he's a preacher. Okay. So everything was about church. So, uh, it, like I said, it was just okay. It was, it's not something that really rings bells in my memory. Mm. But I made up for it years later when I graduated from college. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> So this is one of my favorite tracks. I'm gonna go in with a makeup remover and some, sorry, keeps it and some makeup remover. Can you come right here one minute, Nia, and get a real close up? Come closer. Stand up and come right over to the camera. Bend down, look straight in. Up to the left. Now turn your eye, to, so I just get that eye, yep. And then to the right. Okay, people, I just wanted to give you a close-up. And so we're going to end this segment and stay tuned for part two. Okay? Thank you.